Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently doing battle with the Byzantine Empire and they are actually kind of weak and they are in other wars although this war is basically over. It's a Genoese de Jure war. Interesting. I'm not sure what's going on over there but uh, they're basically done with that war and their troops headed off over towards Genoa. So we should actually probably be assuming that their troops are going to come back soon. Now that's okay. Because now that we've made some gains in our holdings over here. And now that we know exactly how the 1.2 changes are affecting defensive terrain. This should be kind of interesting. And absolutely fine to handle. We can demand a payment from this guy. It would be two gold. I'm not sure that's worth using the hook. Pass on that one. We're currently gaining gold, which is nice. Yeah, he just won against Genoa. That's expected. So his troops are probably going to be on the way back pretty soon. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. I'm not sure if they're going to come by land or sea. They came over here by land. So that'll be interesting. But we've only got five months left on this fort, and this is the nine, nine strength fort. So these are the only two remaining strong forts in the region. Hello. Oh, a dangerous faction. This is an independence faction, and the king of Bavaria is the leader here. If we were able to get him out of there, because remember, it's only looking at our current soldier amount, not our real maximum soldier amount, which if we look at this, the tooltip may or, may or may not come up, but our real maximum soldier amount is actually like 20k. But for whatever reason, when we're taking these attrition hits like this, it shows up differently. Now, I don't know why that is, and that seems to be something new in 1.2. I don't really like that because it creates things like this independence faction when we're in the middle of a big war. That said, we might be able to do something about this guy. He has a lot of children, actually. Hmm. We could marry our daughter and champion off, or we could do our granddaughter here, who's more age-appropriate. Would this get us an alliance? It would not. Okay. Let's see about potentially male children. This would work. But that actually wouldn't get us an alliance either. Hang on, why would that not get us an alliance? She's unlanded. Oh, he's our grandson. I'm a moron. Okay, roger that. Now we could marry this son off to her, and that would get us an alliance. Let's do it. I don't want to deal with that faction right now. Excellent. So this faction will go away. He's the faction leader, so it'll just straight up disband. That's wonderful. We just got a good event there. Two months. Okay. So we see 2,500 troops coming back. That's not frightening. Okay, there's another 5k right behind them. That's a bit more frightening, but they can't get here before we finish this siege. I'm pretty sure of this. Right? Mm, maybe they can. I wouldn't have thought they'd be able to go this distance in two months. From here to here? But apparently it only takes about a month. Well, this group is lagging behind. Household savings, that's nice. And we do need a spy master, so let's go ahead and put in the Queen of Hungary. Hopefully that'll make her a little happier. In fact, it made her quite a lot happier. Okay. So, it looks like they're going to let us finish this. Wonderful. Now, if we were to attack here, they're not currently sieging. But I want to move up over this way. Okay, these guys let up on their siege. I'm not super happy about that. 
but we do need to start winning some of these. I'm going to let these guys finish since they're locked in. Okay. Now let's see about going and see if they're going to come with us. They are. Excellent. Get out of here. There's another dangerous faction. And once again, that is because they're looking at this number rather than the real number. Interesting. It looks like we have sufficient advantage here, though. Well, maybe if our allies come in. They had a lot of time, but they decided to detour over to here. They're too late. Our allies screwed us there. They just refused to come in. Okay. We will retreat then. Let's get out of there. And then let's raise our rally point and raise additional troops up here. That's going to make our factionalism even worse though. So... That's interesting. The way that this works. Because if you look at our actual troop count here... We have 22,193 unraised levies. Now, those levies don't quote-unquote exist, because they need to be rep replenished, right? But Crusader Kings 2 would take that into account when calculating dangerous factions. Crusader Kings 3 does not, while at war. I can get it. I can get why. It makes some level of sense. But that's still... Interesting. I'd like to attack these guys. Are they going to respond? No, they're going to let us do this. That is a mistake on their part. They should have fought me here. They were defending in mountains. They could have won this, but they decided to siege instead. I do see 592 troops on the way in. That's fine. We can actually marry this person off, and we may want to do that for the purposes of getting an alliance. Are you in our realm? Yes, you are. I really wish there was a not in realm option for the filters, just because you can't call in allies that are your vassal. That would be really convenient. Are you in our realm? No, you are not. Okay. You're not our player error, are you? No. Okay. So we'll do that. And we will call this guy in. Excellent. Okay, so we won that battle. That actually didn't gain us any war score. Interestingly enough. Literally none. Now, this is our territory over here, so that's fine. Oh, here we have some allies coming in. This would be their territory. We'd be attacking them in hills, which is acceptable. That is, in fact, what we want to do. 22 months, 24 months. We have some time. How long will it take to siege this with our mangonels? Three years? Yikes. We really need better mangonels. <laughs> or more specifically, we need mangonels. What what do we have right now? We have onagers. Yeah. That's going to be a bit of a problem. So, I mean, we would be more than capable of making this happen. Except for the slight problem... Well, these are just populous over here. So this one actually doesn't matter. This would be the Queen of Croatia. We're literally pushing your claim, lady. Why are you so upset? Because she wants a seat on the council. Okay, fair enough. What are you good at? You're actually a good steward. You're actually an equivalent steward to this guy who is not a powerful vassal. Okay. Now, I doubt that'll make her like us enough to leave the faction. 
and she's the leader of that faction. We could maybe toss her some cash. I want to use that cash for ourselves. I would prefer not to use another marriage on this. We just have the... Yeah, she doesn't have any children anyway. So, I mean, I want to use the cash to upgrade our own castles. That would be ideal. Like, upgrade these meadows. For sure. And then that's kind of it for now. So this siege is three years left. The populists are irrelevant. This is nine months. Let's station besiegers here. And then we're going to take this force. And we're going to have this mayor lead it. And we can come down over this way and see what our allies end up doing. It's eight months there. 24 months, 24 months. That's fine. We could also potentially work on swaying this queen. Which I think is okay. Okay, they want this barony title. We would get the city and then lease it out. I think this is fine. Do it. Okay, so that's five months. That's solid. Excellent. Let's get this siege done. This is five years over here, but having no mangonels there is absolutely fine. Our allies are moving in over here. They're likely going to leave that siege, but I think that's okay. Yeah, this is fine. We got a siege there. Three months left to four months. Two months, actually, to three months. These guys are 14 and 21 months away. Oh, this guy joined in. Okay. I guess we could try to do something in here. This would be our grandson and wouldn't actually get us a truce. We're kind of out of children. Okay. This is what, an independence faction? Yeah, that's independence. Hundred and fifty gold for twenty-nine opinion. We'll do it. That gets her opinion of, of us up to plus forty-one. Wait, she has a negative malice because we have an offensive war. Hang on a moment. 29 malice for an offensive war, but she's the queen of Croatia. This is literally a de jure war on the Duchy of Bosnia, which is pushing her claim. Why is she upset about that? She should not be upset about that. Uh, we'll put this guy in as our spy master, I guess. That'll be okay. I imagine she'll get a an opinion boost once we press her claim, but it's very strange that she's getting an opinion malice while we're pressing her claim. That's just a little bizarre. I don't know. Well, we got 21 gold from that, and we're going to come over here and see about getting these guys to lift their siege. Because we still need to do a little bit of sieging over here. We did get them to lift their siege. And so we are going to swing over and siege down this barony. And then there's this one here as well. That's level 6 and that's level 4. Both of those should fall very quickly. We do have gold right now. So we should probably consider upgrading our meadows. Excellent. And that'll fall in five months. This one is four years remaining, max. Okay. So, th yeah, that offensive war is ticking up. Being the main attacker in a war will gradually cause your vassals to dislike you after six months. Civil wars and great holy wars are excluded from this. Once no longer in such a war, the penalty will slowly decay. Sure, that's fine. I just think it's very strange that she isn't getting a pressed my claim bonus 
when we declared the war. Very, very odd. Nine months here. So what can we do to get her to, to disband this faction? Well, that's a good question. We don't really have any titles to grant her. Unless... Can we make one of these duchy titles? We have no claim on it. It's currently held by a duchess who reports up to her. Okay. Currently controlled by a duke. Currently controlled by her personally. That's a count who controls the duchy title. He reports to Bavaria. That's interesting. I want to be on kingdom map mode here. Okay. So if we were able to retract this duchy from him, he would accept this. He'll lose 40 opinion of us, but he's currently maxed. Everyone will lose five opinion of us because it's an act of tyranny. But it's a 100% chance of happening. So we do that. Yep, you think it's unjust. And then we give it to the Queen of Croatia, who just lost another 30 opinion of us. I only expected to lose five. Okay, whatever. But what we want to do now is we want to transfer in this vassal, who is her de jure's. Her, her vassal de jure. That'll boost her opinion of us tremendously, and hopefully that will be enough to get her to disband that faction. We just want a battle somewhere. I'm not sure where. Okay. So that's four months left and six months left. We do need a new counselor, so we will put in the Queen of White Roos here. She's not the best marshal, but it'll keep her out of keep her out of trouble for a little while. It would appear that she is not currently interested in disbanding this faction. Now, when is our sway going to finish? That'll fire in six months. About three months. Okay, two more progress on our scheme. We haven't gotten a lucky event yet, either. Yeah, five months here. The siege will finish up very soon. These guys are sieging very slowly, so that's a thing. Ah, okay, so she just left this faction. The King of Hungary is now leading it. So that didn't disband the faction. Okay. That does mean this is far less powerful. Like, these guys are not actually a threat, they just think they are. So that's a thing. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this siege. There we go. Now I want to see if we can get up here quickly enough to get these guys to abandon their siege. It looks like they may. A faction targeting us just disbanded. Those were populists. Oh wait. Okay, so that faction is gone. Wonderful. Now it's just these Lollard populists that we need to worry about. We need to get this war done, and we need to make it quick. He did decide to abandon his siege. So we're going to go back over here, and we're going to get the Barony of Soli. 
We still have three years on this siege. But we're going to come back to that. With our siege weapons. Okay. Let's siege this down. Max of 11 months. Hopefully we'll get breaches. We're currently at minus 34 on this war. And yeah, a couple more battles being won and we would uh, be much better off here. He's going back here. Okay. I'm kind of interested in just stationing besiegers here. And coming up this way. We'll lead this personally. Actually, no, we won't. We will have this guy lead it. Now, we're going to be pretty reliant on our allies actually helping us here. That said, we have better troops than them. We are reinforcing. Okay, another dangerous faction. Wait a second. This faction is back and can send the ultimatum again already? Fascinating. Well, once again, they're really not actually powerful. They're just pretending to be powerful. Or more, more precisely, they're pretending that we're weaker than we are. That said, they can send that in just a few months. I wish our allies would come group up with us over here. Hang on, was that ticking war score? That's ticking war score. Okay. Noted. Well, we can change this guy's contract. And I'm interested in doing that. Excellent. We can imprison a few criminals as well. 21% chance, 45, 53, 48, and 36. Okay. So I'm not actually scared of this faction. Like, that's not actually an issue. It's just pretending to be one. What I am scared of right now is that it's very likely that the AI decides to declare war on us, thinking that we're weak. Okay. So there was just a succession in the Byzantine Empire. He's in three wars. That's nice. Let's go ahead and fight this battle, and hopefully it will claw back some war score. I don't know that it's big enough to claw back much war score, but it'll get some. Excellent. We're going to come back over here, and... Nope, not quite. We're seven away still. Okay, well, we'll finish up this siege. We do have ticking on our side, so we're at plus 10 there and plus 63 from Occupied Holdings. I wish he would come, you know, actually have troops over here so that we can do something, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately that's not the case. We're going to split this in half because we're not actually making progress up here, and we need to be making progress. So we'll get that done, and then that'll be four months left there. Now, I do expect that these guys are going to rebel, but I'm also not actually scared of them. I do want to put in some upgrades up here. Ideally, cash generators, like pastoral grounds. That'll do. Excellent. Okay. So that's three years left there, allegedly. And four months here. Four months on this ultimatum, allegedly, as well. Did we get the cash? No, we didn't. I've never gained that, even though it's a 50-50 roll every time. We've always lost that. Kind of baffling. At any rate, this will finish up shortly. Specifically in about 30 days. How are we doing here? Ultimatum in three months? Okay. Two years left over here. I do see these guys coming in. 24 days. Hmm. It's going to be interesting. 
We have allies right here. Ten days. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and grab Toe the Line to make our vassals less likely to join independence factions. Maybe some of these will leave. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay. We finished up that siege. We're now at plus two. Now the question is, just how many do we need here to siege? 2520 is the garrison size. Now in Crusader Kings 3, is it double or is it... It must be a majority. 2778. Okay, so these will be 5k troops. They're not very well equipped. We're going to be in hills. Let's see what they do. I'm just allowing them to move here. Our ally is moving in. They're moving over this way. We're going to see about going to catch them. Maybe. Hmm, we can't catch them here. This is fascinating, the way they're just kind of wandering around. I mean, we're not going to catch them. Oh, they're coming over here, is what they're doing. Well, we're going to stop them, and we're going to come over here ourselves. They're just losing supplies here. I'm okay with it. And they're heading south. How would the siege curve end up looking? We're grouped up. Eight months left here. Sixteen months. This should be fine. It is, however, time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we are going to finish up this war against the Byzantines. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.